We come from many different villages. Chian, Niska, Hlinket, Heisla, Haida, Taltan, Masquiam, Colville. Many different villages, all of whom, all of whom have connections to the Somaliac speaking people, the Simshan, the Niska, and the Gitsan. I am said Newsome, Will got good at some Qua the the Ginka God, Ginka God is some the hat me go will need some. It has just absolutely made our hearts swell that you have come here and everything that we've seen. Home, yay! Why, Cindy, Dancing, and Hanako, Pulux, and Gatsamil, and the Wire, Mike, and Angela. 
Kimberly Akamsiwayu. Uh, thank you for, for standing. You're more than welcome to have a seat, please. We are doing it a little differently here this evening. The song that we share connects the Dangelis to our Tantaquan Huitz Tekwadi, my brown bear family of Saxman, Alaska. Historically, the Dangelis would sing that song when we would go from the Nass Valley, from the, from the Nass River to the Stikine to visit our Shingit relatives. We would sing that back and forth so that they would know how many of our family were coming. We now use this song to let the world know and our relatives wherever we sing and dance that the Get Hayeks are coming. A little bit of housekeeping. It is okay to take photos and videos for those on the floor. Please do not get in the way of our dancers. As we were, has been said multiple times, the Nishka are unrolling and this has become our big house for the weekend as we had this blessing from our Coast Salish Wilayaks, our Coast Salish family. We are following those protocols. The very first song that we're gonna be sharing, sharing our Nuch Nuch, we're scattering Pakwa. This is Eagle and Swanstown to honor all the Sigam Hanach and the Sigm Gigat, all the matriarchs and the chiefs in the building, our most relied upon people. Get Hayaks! Go go and go to my now! Why what? She's all excited to see us hobbying it up out here in Kitsum Kalem, along with my dad. So the next song we're going to be sharing is a song that we received in trade through our dear relative Sa'aplak, Bob Baker of the Squamish people. And amongst our Coast Salish Wilayaks, they call this bean Anacha In. In Somaliath, we say Sadumpti. In English, it is the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird's job is to get everybody's attention in the hall, to be witness. For those who haven't attended a yalf or a potlatch or a feast, being a witness is one of the most prestigious places and positions amongst our society. It's your job to watch. It's your job to hear everything, and then feel it, have your gorge, your heart filled with all of the information and knowledge that was shared, and then you go and share it after. This was before CFNR, and they could televise it for us. This was before Facebook Live and Instagram Reels and all that fun stuff. That being said, I'm gonna do my little spiel. If you're videoing or taking photos, please tag Mike D'Angeli or the Get High X Dancers. This is how we get the word out there about our performances and what we share, the good old fashioned moccasin telegraph. So, Anacha in Sadumpti, the Thunderbird, are gonna be danced by my Nachs, Simphotum Newsom, and our two sons, Tim Kjot Hayeks and Lugwith Limps Katsumil Hayeks and Nick D'Angeli and my wife Mike Yale. And you're going to see them wearing all the beautiful colors that Samagan Laha has given us. Samagan Laha has given us every color in the rainbow, and in Somalia, our language, we have names for every one of those colors. So we argue that makes them traditional. This is to get everybody's attention and also to buy a little bit more time for our dancers to get ready, so let's see if they're ready. So go to them dance, 
All right, this is Anacha in Sadumpty, the Thunderbird.
you guys are so awesome and love system. I just absolutely love dancing for our own. It makes me the nervous, the most excited to dance for our own people and proud. My wife and I moved to Chilliwack three years ago, and without us knowing, we moved literally just a couple of blocks away from where my grandfather went to residential school and at Kokolitsa. And so for us to be able to sing and dance so much shows that the work that our residential school survivors had to do to get through that worked. But what's even a bigger stamp of we are thriving is our young ones. So hold the A lot of our masks, some of them are uh, the mask dancing, some of them are old songs, some of our new songs. And this next one is one of my favorites. This was composed by my WEC, Tin Lannan, David Nelson III of Metlakatla, Alaska, my other village. And it's one about, it's a, a Dao and a song about one of my favorite cultural heroes, Tamsum. Tamsum is the best of us, Tamsum is the worst of us. Tamsum is human personified. Tamsum is a transformer, a shapeshifter, a trickster. His favorite form is that of the raven. He's not Raven Clan, his favorite form is the raven. So we're about to be visited by a Tamsum spirit, a trickster spirit. Raven and all of his beautiful shapes, forms, and colors. And as I've seen some of you hiding your purses, tame some loves to tease us. So go to bed for that!
They're not gonna make you dance for it, don't worry. We still got a cell phone over here yet, folks. So for us, when something from the supernatural world touches us in the mortal realm, it is a huge blessing. Let's give them a round of applause, please. We got one extra phone here. Yes. Oh, and oh, I, to some, I forgot to mention that the, uh, the mask that uh, Nick was dancing, that's its first time being danced tonight. Nick has earned his privilege of owning an articulated raven mask, so that was the first time he was able to dance the clapper mask. So if we can give him a round of applause, that would be awesome. So I, I really want to uh, take the time to recognize Nick's mom, his grandparents, and his little brother who are standing. You guys raise your hands. They're right over here to witness Hobie. This next song talks about the birth of Nick. It was a really amazing moment. But the Marconium broke open and we nearly lost him. And as they were getting him back and making sure that he would stay here, and taking care of his mom at the time. I had the pleasure of being by the incubator and washing him and singing every song that I knew. One, to talk him into being here, two, to welcome him into this world. And on behalf of his family and us, I'm glad he's here, he's such a wonderful gift. So I thank you for sharing him with all of us. This is Nick's song, Gabahayex. So go to God, Samana!
This next song is a newer song. We received it in trade and as a gift through a dear relative in the south. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm just trying to waste time till my nux gets out here. Javier! I was just taking my time to hear what he was going to say. So this next song that we're going to share with you is a new song because it's our right and honor and privilege, as it is all the dance groups on the floor, to write new songs and to create new dances, just as our ancestors did. We have the honor of dancing the time that they lived in through those songs and dances. And someday these dances that we create, our descendants will dance them and will talk about us as their ancestors. This song is a photographer song that was written in 2015. Jeez, has it been that long? It's been longer than that, actually. I can't even think of the date. So, actually, it was 2009 is when this song was written by Douglas J. Worley, who is Muscolero Apache. It's written in the Potwin language. It was given to me at an International Indigenous Photographers Conference at the University of California in Davis. This song was given to me at the end of my master's thesis, which now is going to be my first book, on the photography of Benjamin Alfred Haldane, who is Simshan. Raise your hand if you're Simshan in here. Know that, woo, look at all of these Simshan. <laughs> that loud one is Mike's cousin. So, <laughs> so as Simshan, Benjamin Alfred Haldane is considered the very first professional indigenous photographer in the history of what is now North America. This dance is the dance of his photography, his portrait studio, and he was of my community of Matlakatla, Alaska, which most people on this side know as Taquan. This song is our dance of his images, dancing his archive in the way that all of our songs and dances act as an archive of our history. This is our photographer's song.
sit down and do this one. Not because I'm feeling tired or hobiated out. So this song, uh, right here. So this song, this song we received as a gift from from a dear relative of ours in the Yukon, Nakaquan, Lake Lapine. And as the story of this song, Blake, when he was first starting out, he's a carver like me. And when he was starting, he was so proud, but he wasn't listening to his teacher and his mask broke, as it does carving green alder. It cracks all the time. I had the same thing happening, but it cracked completely in half. And as they were up working on a canoe, Blake decided to go stop and just have his feelings. And in kind of, as he would say, feeling sorry for himself, and as he was sitting there listening, this song came to him as he was listening to all the carvers work on the canoe, listening to the ads. And so he felt better about it and realized that this was all a learning experience. So he gifted this song to us. And our oldest boy, Michael Daniel D'Angeli, who really wanted to be here this this Hobier, but he's back home. Can you guys keep a secret? Oh, can you guys keep a secret? Oh, him and his sweetie are having and creating our first grandbaby. So it's with all the love and thankfulness to our son Michael for creating this knock knock. We send all the beautiful Hobier wishes, love and joy to him and Alicia and their new baby due at the end of May. And Alexis, oh, remember that secret's just between you and me, okay? So keep it to yourselves. This is our Carver song. <laughs>
And I'll ask this, um, I'm told we just have a few more minutes, so we just have one more song to share. We are so excited to sing and dance and celebrate. We lift our hands to our relatives of the Nishkatsamics, to the staff, to the volunteers, to the board, and awesome. Thank you for all of the hard work that you did to create this day. Let's give them a hobby. To all of you in Dioxism, thank you for all of your beautiful energy. Thank you for being kind, for sharing your love and your light. I wish all of the success and happiness that life can bring for your new year. Our last song that we're going to be sharing with you, Caden, over this way, buddy. Oh, he went running all the way into the back. This last song is my family's victory song. It comes from where it's outside. According to anthropologists and archaeologists, the Tzitzawit are extinct. Yet myself and our sons stand in front of you as the descendants of the Tzitzawit. Our ancestors would sing this song when they returned home from combat and they would laugh and taunt our enemies because we had survived. In recent history, my grandfather was a veteran of World War II. My uncle Bill was a Marine in Vietnam. My two brother came from the US Navy and the United States Marines, and I served 10 years in the Army. When we returned home from our tours of duty and combat, our family sang this song. Not only do we continue to sing this song for our warriors and our residential school survivors, we sing this song for our young ones. We sing this song every opportunity we can because we're still here. We are practicing our languages, our songs, our dances, our ways of knowing and being. We are not just surviving, we are thriving. So this victory song is for anybody who came up to dance today, anybody who greets each other in the language, anybody who practices their culture any way they can. And particularly, I really want to sing this for our Nishkats Amex family, for all the beautiful work that they did here today. So uh, in leading, as you saw, our youngest, do his chief's protocol speech. I'm asking Tim Hayek's Nick to lead this song.
by my wet cement, my beaver brother Sean McDougall of the Yukon Daka Clan. And this is the Box Drum Exit.